Hey everybody, it's Mike from Taxes and Bricks. Welcome to episode 19. Well, it's Thursday, so you know what that means. Lego day! Uh, today's episode, uh, first I clean up a table, then I build a taxi, then I talk a little bit about the taxi, then I show you how I got scammed on eBay, <laughs> and then I open up some boxes. So uh, stick around um, for some fun, exciting Lego content. Uh, if you like this video or this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button below, leave a comment. I reply to all of them, um, all like two or three or four of them that I've received so far on all my videos. Um, definitely subscribe and share our content. We're actually up to, I think, 47 or 48 subscribers now, which is like 40 six or 47 or 48 more than I thought I'd ever have. So thank you for those who subscribed already. Definitely share, uh, spread the word, um, and thanks. Uh, enjoy episode 19. So don't get me wrong. I'm excited to finish the typewriter. I was excited to start it. That was like a month and a half ago. And unfortunately, I don't really get a lot of time. And so I decided to put it away for a little bit. Not forever. Um, but because I need the table that I was building it on to you know, I don't know, unbox things and, you know, do other little things. So enjoy a little quick cleanup here of me cleaning a table and uh, then we'll get on with the rest of the video. So a couple days ago, I got a box uh, from Lego, or maybe it was late last week. I can't remember when. Anyway, uh, inside was a vintage taxi. Um, this was, I think I mentioned it was supposed to be a promo with the uh, boutique hotel, but they actually ended up just making it a gift with purchase. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a little time-lapse build here so you can watch me build it, and then I'll uh, spend a few minutes and talk about it after the build's over. Um, so enjoy. <laughs> Vintage Taxi, set number 40532, uh, it's 163 pieces, just took me a couple minutes to build there, as you can see, um, super cool little build, um, so you've got the taxi, and then there's this little side build, street corner with the street light, and the minifigure, and a trash can, and you put something in the trash can, which I think they use for, like, the little bakery scenes as, like, the top of a cupcake or something, but I think... In this case, it's supposed to represent, well, I don't know, dog poo? I don't know. Anyway, but the little guy can be the taxi driver instead. <clears throat> or maybe he's not the taxi driver and the taxi driver just uh, went in for coffee somewhere and this guy just decided to hop in the taxi and <laughs> drive away. Anyway, kind of fun. Um, it's going to look really good in, in the Lego City, especially next to the boutique hotel, which... Um, and start building here, but I really like the color scheme. Um, it's really kind of cool, very vintage looking, um, hence the name Vintage Taxi. And uh, yeah, so that was good. So I hope you enjoyed my first, uh, well, time lapse sort of speedy build there. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, a few more. Behold. Lego Architecture, Seattle Space Needle, set number 21003. Just 57 cute little pieces. Uh, I was very excited to find this on eBay. I mean, you can find a lot of them, but uh, I was really excited because this one was three bucks. Um, well, at least that's what the auction was at, I think. And I don't know, I, I think I ended up paying like five plus a couple bucks of shipping. Um, so I was really excited when it showed up today. Um, and then I opened up the box. And <laughs> I guess... These are the sort of dangers of purchasing stuff on Lego. I mean, I knew it was used, obviously. So I was really excited. I was like, oh, look, the instructions are here. This is so great. And the whole thing's already put together. Also kind of dirty and gross um, and definitely wasn't in the pictures, but that's okay. I'll just clean it up as best I can. Um, but it came with a little stand, so that's sort of fun. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, fastest Lego build I've ever done. Woo from unboxing to finished product, I guess. Yeah, I'll just clean it up a little bit and, uh, you know, 
Maybe I'll take it apart and build it again just to get the satisfaction of it. But uh, there, added the space needle to my collection. Um, sort of, and kind of cheated, but not really, I guess. Cheated, but in an unintended way. Well, now that the typewriter is cleared out, I actually have a table where I can unbox now. I don't have to do it on the floor, um, as I say that kneeling here on the floor. But uh, anyway, so I got a couple of boxes here, all from uh, the LEGO group, lego.com. I'm going to unbox them right now. Um, I think I know what's in most of them. Uh, not really sure. I ordered some stuff a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know, delays and shipping and back orders and stuff. So anyway, let's get going. Alright, um, let's start with the big one. Alright, let's see what we got here. Very cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just kind of wanted it. It wasn't that expensive. It was like 39 or 40 bucks. Uh, it's the Mobile Cream Lego City. 60324. I was just kind of cool. Um, and I thought about it and I thought, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a place in the Lego City for it. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, these are fun. These are going to look really good up on the shelf. These are kind of, I don't know, for lack of a better term, giant minifigures um, that you build. Um, and it's Harry Potter and Hermione from obviously Harry Potter. Um, they're massive. They're kind of cool. They look good up on the shelves. And uh, so I thought I'd pick those up. 76393. And there's 1,673 pieces. So fun. That'll take a little while. And uh, something to do. Oh, what else is in the box? Uh, these are super fun. I don't know why I bought two of them. That might have been a mistake. I don't know. Maybe I'll give one away as a gift or something like that. These. Are oh, the fun little Tuk Tuks? Look at that. That's really cool. Set number 40469. It's called the Tuk Tuk. Um, 155 pieces. I don't know. Maybe I'll build one. I'll do a little quick, like, time lapse build and show you guys these later. Those are fun. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, look at that. They sent me another vintage taxi. So, yay. I guess I have another one to build or put away or give away or something like that. So. All right, fun. Let's get rid of this box here. All right. What's in this one? Let's find out. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, very cool. Actually, I'll show you the rest of these in a later video, but... Um, I don't know, I was for some dumb reason holding off on picking up the, well, <laughs> on the top it says Dark Vador. I think that that's kind of hilarious, but it's the Darth Vader helmet. It's part of the helmet series. They've got a Stormtrooper, and <clears throat> they've got a Scout Trooper, and there's a Boba Fett helmet. Um, and then for the Star Wars series in a couple of months, or maybe in a month or two, uh, there's going to be a Mandalorian helmet from the series, and then there's also... Um, Luke Skywalker's um, uh, helmet from when he's flying in the X-Wing. So, very cool. Build these. These will look good. Um, eventually, right here is going to be all of the Star Wars stuff and whatever as soon as I get a moment to build it. So, this one's pretty cool. Oh, that's all that's in that box. Yeah. Now, no idea what's in this one. This is the one where it's a total mystery to me. Another vintage taxi. I guess I have three now. That's great. Okay. Well, there we go. So that's fun. Cool unboxing. So, got a Harry Potter set, a little crane, the Dark Vador helmet, <laughs> um, two Tuk Tuks, and two vintage taxis. Very cool. Um, and yeah, cool. Well, thanks for uh, taking a look at the unboxing here. And uh, thanks for, uh, for watching that. And uh, we'll uh, 
kind of get on with everything here from uh, for the rest of the video. Well, that'll about do it for today's video. Thanks for stopping by for episode 19. I hope you uh, had fun and enjoyed the ride. Um, stick around tomorrow, which is Friday. We're going to kind of do mailbag again, but not really. I'm going to do something on <clears throat> the meaning of marginal tax rates and effective tax rates and why they're important and why they're different. Um, and it's based on a question that I got and also based on um, a situation that I found, well, a client found themselves in um, just before uh, last Christmas. Um, so, uh, and it had to do with the Christmas bonus and whatnot. So, uh, anyway, stick around for tomorrow's episode Fridays, uh, like a modified mailbag. I think it's going to be really kind of interesting and informative. Um, we're going to be talking again about uh, effective tax rates, marginal tax rates, and why it does matter and why it doesn't matter. So thanks a lot again, like, uh, subscribe, share content with your, our friends. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.